Hello, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. In this video, we're going to teach you the freshwater shrimp or scud pattern. And it's a, going to be small, it's deadly, and pretty easy to tie. So let's get to that fly right now. Okay, now you want to put a size 20 scud hook in the vise. And if there's any comments about what vise I'm using, I went back to using a very cheap $10 vise to prove that you could tie any of these flies in a beginner's vise and go out and catch fish. So most likely all year I'll be using this vise or one that's equivalent to a beginner's vise. Now we're going to tie on ultra fine white thread. I'd use as fine as you can. I think this is 70 denier thread. It's super fine. Now you're going to tie in a piece of your tying thread or another piece of white thread you have. If you didn't t cut a piece off yet. I cut a piece off in the beginning. I should have started that with that. But you could also use monofilm. It works really well. Or like 7X works real well. Or just a piece of white thread. I'm going to use this as a rib. Just tie that in. Now we're going to tie in a piece of 8 inch really small UV clear tinsel. So we're going to tie that in. You want to make sure that when the tinsel is done tied in it's on top so when you fold it over it will be directly on top of the fly. Now, I'm going to put dubbing on here. It's a white UV dubbing. And uh, I don't have the package it came in anymore, so I can't really show you what it was on the shelf as. Got it the blue herring. It's white, it's white UV dubbing. So we're going to put this on, and we're going to dub this right up to the eye of the hook. And leave a little bit of spot, a space to finish the fly so you don't crowd the eye. Now you're going to pull that tinsel over, make sure it stays on top of the fly, and secure it out, secure it right behind the eye of the hook. Now I like to put some thread wraps in and then pull back on that tinsel and that'll keep the eye from getting crowded. Now we're going to take that piece of thread and wrap it towards and rib this fly with it. As you're ribbing this fly, making sure that tinsel stays on top of the fly. Secure it down and then cut it off. And I try to be careful how many thread wraps I put in here. You don't want to make this, the head of this thing just a big ball of thread, so. Add a couple whip finishes. I usually put about three in. Tighten it up. Cut off your tying thread.
Then I pull back on the tinsel again to make sure that I had the hook ain't uh, crowded. And then I leave it just a little piece tag end stick out, maybe about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. And that represents the tail of the shrimp or the things they have hanging off the back of them. Now what I have here is a needle stuck in a cork and I use this as a dubbing to pick out the dubbing and I pick out the dubbing underneath this fly make it look like all the little legs hanging down out of this this pattern and that's it there you got it you got it tied up tie a couple of these up they're deadly this time of year in the early, early spring and winter so tie some up get them in your box Now I hope you like that freshwater shrimp pattern. That's a really deadly pattern this time of year. They're always in the water, so it's good during really cold times of the year. They will never go anywhere, and they're really high in protein, so the fish gorge themselves on them when they're in the water. And they're in the water, there are hundreds of them. Um, I know. Before you ask, why do the fish don't eat these all year long? Since they're high in protein and they're always around kind of a mystery of fly fishing uh, I'm not quite sure and I don't think nobody really knows why they don't need them all year long maybe it's because they like variety but these are a deadly pattern to use this time of year so get some in your box get them tied up and make sure you watch the other videos here make sure you subscribe if you haven't done you should done so you should so you don't miss any of our videos see you on the water